Always, 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 always go with your gut. I went against what I initially thought, followed the advice of a friend, publicized my new channel on all of my social medias, and in my Insta story, forgot to block the people that know Elle, and now I have some of Elle's closest people subscribing to the channel. There's so many things up here that he and I haven't discussed that I'm not ready for him to find out through the world. Here's hoping they can keep a secret. You know what? Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. While I'm laying here getting ready to take it down for the day and pondering what time I should go get my nails done in the morning, I started to think about going with your gut. There are so many times in life that I've experienced the list of questions that comes with making a decision. Is this the right thing to do? Am I soliciting help from the right places? Do I have the right resources? Am I with the right person? Do I have the right circle of friends? Are these the things that I need to be focusing on? Is there something bigger? Is there something smaller? Should I go left? Maybe I should have went right. There's a whole lot of uncertainty that comes with life on a daily basis. And I found that going with your gut, that first instinct, that thing that you just knew was right to do is always the most settling thing. But I mostly find that I'm most settled in that gut feeling when that gut feeling is from the leading of the Holy Spirit. I learned a long time ago um, that when I trust God with my life and I decided to listen to him on every journey and have this crazy amount of faith that's radical and I'm listening to God tell me things like end your relationship and follow me. Even though I don't necessarily understand all of it and I don't necessarily feel happy about it all, I have assurance and peace with it. And that is the way I know that I'm making the right choices. When I have a sense of peace that follows the choice that I've made. Now, I am not even going to front, not even a little bit. Every choice I make does not lead to a good outcome. 90% of the choices I make don't lead to a good outcome because I'm still trying to learn how to follow God's voice. And so a lot of the things that I do don't end in perfection, but they also don't end in regret. I did what I felt was right in the time that I felt was right. And so I did what I could live with. And so when the chips fall, wherever they may fall, I could at least say, you know what? I made that choice, this is the consequence, or this is the reward, and I can sleep at night. So I, I think the lesson that I'm learning today, especially because, you know, I'm wondering, you know, how is my posting going to affect my future relationship or the relationship that I'm in and out of, especially when I told you guys he doesn't even really know the status of us yet. I'm wondering, you know, what if people that he knows will watch these videos and how will he react and respond and how will this affect him? Like, will he be happy? Probably not. Can we come back from this if we need to come back from this? And what about my future? What about if he's not the one and I end up with someone else? How will he feel about all of me burying my soul to a whole bunch of people on the World Wide Web? I could ask myself all those things, but my gut told me, record it. My gut tell me be public. And for me personally, I'm super uber duper private. I'm such a private person that some of my closest friends, the people I talk to every day, watched some of my YouTube videos and was like, you've been in a relationship, girl? I'm like, yeah, I have been. And so for me to be so public and so vulnerable is such a change. But I heard the spirit and I felt the spirit leading me to go public with it. Will everybody like what I has to say? have to say? No. Will this be roses when he finds out? No. I don't really know what my future holds, but I know that what I'm doing, I have peace with. 
And I hope that the decisions you make and the days to follow or even the decisions that I make tomorrow, I could at least be wise enough to make the decisions that I will be able to live with as long as I'm checking them with the Holy Spirit. The proverb says that we should acknowledge God in all his ways and he'll direct our path. And that's simply what I'm doing. I'm acknowledging God with my life and trusting that whatever way he directs my path is the right way. Because ultimately, he has the plan. I'm just a shell. I'm an instrument. And I'm letting him play the way he wants, the song he wants to hear. Anyways, those are my thoughts for tonight. And I'm going to go to bed. And hopefully you won't have to see this again tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that bell so you can get the push notifications. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like and comment. Guys, I need to hear from you. As a matter of fact, let me ask you a question. You guys want to talk about something a little spicy tomorrow? Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Talk soon. Don't forget, I love you so much, but God loves you most.